Today, we're making crispy, spicy onion pakoras. We'll also be making a cool raita sauce, an incredible mango chutney, and putting everything together to create a burger not to be missed. First, let's get started on that pakora mix. Slice three red onions nice and fine. I think it's important to get these onions pretty thin, but that being said, it's not the end of the world if your onions are a bit chunkier. Your pakoras will just have more texture at the end of the day. Grab some fresh ginger, peel off the skin, and finely chop about 30 grams, along with three cloves of garlic. Then slice one red chili and one green chili, seeds and all. Feel free to up the chili amount if you like it super spicy, and roughly chop 20 grams of coriander. Place the sliced onions, garlic, ginger, sliced chilies, and chopped coriander into a bowl, then add a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and a teaspoon of salt. Give everything in the bowl a really good mix together, making sure those spices evenly coat everything. This is also going to let that salt get to work, drawing out the water from the veg and softening the mixture as well as seasoning. Once everything's mixed, add 90 grams of gram or chickpea flour to the bowl, along with 60 grams of rice flour. Then get your hands back in there, mixing it up again, keep working the mixture until the flour hydrates and brings everything together. This pakora mixture is not meant to be swimming in batter, it should just be a light coating all over the veg to help it hold together. Once done, put it to one side until ready to fry. While that's resting, let's knock up a little mango chutney. Peel yourself a nice ripe mango, slice off the cheeks and cut them into large dice. Don't forget to remove the fruit from around the seed as well. Then place the mango into a pan along with one finely chopped garlic clove, 15 grams of finely diced ginger, 150 grams of caster sugar, 150 ml of white wine vinegar, a teaspoon of salt, half a cinnamon stick, a bay leaf, three cardamom pods, a teaspoon of chili flakes, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of dried fenugreek leaves, quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, half a teaspoon of cracked black pepper, 20 grams of raisins, and a good squeeze of lime to finish. Place the pan on the heat and bring to the boil. Then reduce the heat and simmer away for about 20-30 minutes, stirring from time to time until the mango chutney thickens to a more jam-like consistency just like this. Once cooked, mango chutney into a tub or a sterilized jar and leave to cool. Okay, one more thing before we cook these pakoras and that's the raita sauce. Into the goblet of a liquidizer, place 250 grams of natural yogurt, 30 grams of fresh ginger, two garlic cloves, one sliced green chili, 20 grams of coriander, stems and all, 60 grams of mint leaves, and a good squeeze of lemon. Season with a little salt, sugar, and freshly ground pepper. Then blitz everything together to make this vibrant green sauce that tastes amazing and be a lovely cooling accompaniment to our crispy pakoras. Now it's frying time. So heat some oil to 170 degrees C and carefully drop small handfuls of that pakora mix into the oil, lowering them in gently so not to splash hot oil all over the place. Fry the pakoras for four to five minutes until rich golden brown and crispy crispy all over. Once cooked, remove from the oil and drain on a wire rack. Repeat this process with the remaining pakora mix and once all those pakoras are cooked and looking as gorgeous as this, season generously with sea salt and these onion pakoras are good to go. Of course, you could just dip these crispy buttes and enjoy, but I fancy something a little special. So I'm toasting some buns and adding some cool raita sauce, zingy mango chutney, topping the whole thing off with these crispy onion pakoras to create an incredible pakora burger. Cool and crunchy, sweet and spicy, I promise this burger is going to blow you away. Now treat yourself to an extra helping of that mango chutney. I think you deserve it.